Hi there, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Challenge Mode. Last time, I uh, continued with my mission to take care of all the assaults and other crimes that have been reported within the Haywood area of Night City, and uh, actually made decent progress. I started off uh, in this uh, part of the neighborhood, and there were three assaults right here, then a reported crime right around this area, and then made my way over to where I am uh, right now, uh, taking care of an organized crime activity in the process. And now, and there are only two assaults in progress left within all of Haywood. Uh, so it's this one uh, where I currently am, well, across the street from it, and then this one right here. And in the process of doing all these uh, side missions, I did gain another level, so I'm level 30 at the moment, and uh, that pushed uh, the remaining assaults in progress within the city center uh, from danger high to danger moderate, and now they're all appear to be at the moderate um, danger level, meaning that uh, I'm right around the, the correct level to, uh, to do those. And, um, and so that is my plan. So take care of this assault in progress and this one. With that, close the chapter on the Haywood uh, NCPD type side missions and then move on to city center. And that is the, the last part of Night City that still has any of those going on. But first things first. Let's see what's going on over here. Looks like the Valentinos. That makes sense. It's their neighborhood. Um, right, let's see. How many? One, and then two, three, and four. Appears that they have. Oh! Appears they have several hostages. This lady has her gun trained on at least one person. And there is a hostage right there. Another Valentino right there. So now the question is, do any of the hostages get executed? Oh, that guy is doing the stutter animation right there. See that? And he's doing the stutter animation, which means he is about to knock this guy on his knees probably and then shoot him. What about this lady? Is she stuttering? And see how that guy is stuttering right now, even though I'm not looking at him? That is a surefire sign that he is going to be executing the hostage. Now this lady has her gun out, which is a, a far more threatening pose. However, she is very still. She's not stuttering, she's even looking around. So her hostage should be safe, but that guy, that guy is a problem. All right, I need something to distract him with. I see a container, okay, for convenient body disposal next to him. Okay, what do we have there? Yeah, is that a floodlight? Looks like a floodlight. Yes, yes it is. All right, let's distract them. Okay, it worked. I gotta get going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, another baddie, uh, and another floodlight. Okay, I'm gonna have to risk this and just get in there. Unfortunately, I cannot... I thought she was yelling at me for a, for a second. Well, I guess technically she is yelling at me, but she doesn't see me. So that's what scared me. I thought she had eyes on me. Saw me push her friend into the crate and was uh, yelling to let me know that she was about to start shooting. All right, this guy is saved for the time being. And yeah, that lady did not fire on her hostage, which is good, which is exactly what I wanted to see. So her hostage is safe, well, safe-ish. Let's drag this guy towards that dumpster. Hey, shh. Yeah, come on, buddy. I don't have all the time in the world. Your friend's gonna start pathing back any moment now. Get down and hide quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. Yeah, the other one is pathing back, but I have left the hostile area. All right. It does pay to check the uh, the bad guy's animations 
because that is a big giveaway as to which one of them is ready to pull the trigger on a poor hostage. Unfortunately, I wasn't, I didn't get here in time to save everybody. <clears throat> but um, no, there's nothing I can do about that. All I can do is make sure that the rest of these guys don't become a, um, a statistic. Alright, now the problem is, now those guys don't move. This guy patrols around. Oh, and he actually does path right next to a crate that I did not previously see. No, I'll probably jump right over it. And he does not have break hold. He's far away enough that I don't have to worry about deafening those guys to grab him. There we go. Alright, let's see now how to proceed here. Oh, there is a distraction. So send that guy over there, maybe? Wait. She reacted, the guy didn't. Really? Wait. Wait, is this guy just walking into work like, like nothing's happened? Are you kidding? Oh, there you go. I thought I saw something. Yes. You, well, you heard something more like. This guy's just walking into work like nothing, nothing bad has happened. Ah, oh, crap. I distracted her as well. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, man. Actually, they're both distracted. <laughs> really, guys? First, nobody reacts to it, and then you both decide to react to it. Okay, well, no choice but to wait a little bit, I guess. I guess I could have just uh, deafened her. Oh, worked out, yeah. Oh, this guy went for a little walk and then went back to resume his uh, place as the ho uh, <laughs> as his hostage, take back his place. This guy's just walking around, ruining my immersion. It is a hostage situation. Stop wandering around. Just get out of here. Anyone okay. there? Answer me. Okay, this time she's not going. She's going this way for a little walk. She said, let me go. I'm not threatening you. You can go. Feel free to go. The lady with the gun is going inside the crate. Yeah, about that. All right, buddy. Just like one more second. You're the only one that's taking the situation seriously. Ah, oh, your friends have now decided to screw off finally. And the terrain almost almost pushed me straight into that guy. That would have definitely ruined my stealth. There you go. All right, yeah, just get out of here, man. Just go. Okay, what else? I'm seeing some kind of a necklace or something come up. I would like to loot. Oh. Where is it? There we go. Excellent. Sorry, fellas. Just was not here in time to save you. You don't have to stand there anymore, man. Just okay. Okay, you know what? You you, you just you just do your own thing. I'm not going to interfere. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You guys honestly can just take the rest of the day off. I think that would probably be for the best. Maybe take a few days off. So these guys just uh, rolled up and executed pretty much everybody. Looks like the security and uh, and some of the workers. 
And what for? There's a laptop and I just got an archive conversation. Let's see if it actually tells me what happened here. Archive conversation between uh, Chente and Fresco. Fresco, got a problem, yeah? Fired us today, whole crew. Chad said he'd hire some boys from another district. Better for his bottom line, we ain't happy about it. You gotta talk to the guy, clear it up for him. Tell him how we do biz in Vista. Sure will, I like these sorts of chats. Don't worry about a thing. We'll be You'll be back at work tomorrow, guaranteed. Oh, okay. I see. Messages. You're fired. From Chad to Vista.crew. Hey, deadbeats. It's 8 a.m. Not a soul in sight. Enough of this. You think that just because you're Valentinos that you can do whatever you want? What? You waiting for some limos to come pick you up? Well, screw you. I'll find some gongs from another district. Maybe they'll actually do their jobs. Chad. From unknown to Chad McGregor. Chad, we don't know each other, but I know your problem. Workers the Tinos sent are freaking useless and you got deadlines to meet. I also know that the contract states if you don't finish in time, you're going to court. Oh, that's, that's pretty rough. Seems like there is no way out. That is unless you let me help you. I can get you 20 guys starting tomorrow for a very reasonable price. Let me know. Yeah, it seems like the poor workers... Um, basically got screwed over. So this guy hired some Valentinos to work uh, in this area, uh, probably because the Valentinos control this neighborhood and th they were, th Valentino members were the only workers that he could actually get um, for this project. But they obviously weren't very conscientious about doing what they were paid to do. As a result, this guy had enough, fired them, hired those 20 workers that this mysterious person offered and then the Valentinos came in and basically executed most of them. That's a, that is really rough for the workers and in the end they sent Chad a message not by beating him up or anything like that but by killing some innocent workers. Basically stuck in the middle trying to make a, trying to earn a living. Probably being, uh, there were pawns for one criminal organization in a bit against another, got caught in the middle, basically caught in the crossfire. That's tough, man. Well, let's see what kind of injustice awaits at the next assault in progress. Wow, that is a very sturdy land post. These things usually uh, get knocked over. It's very easy. Whoa! I was scared that I was going to hit that person. The non-lethal uh, rule definitely applies to pedestrians and innocent bystanders. I mean, if it applies to the bad guys, it definitely applies to the civilians. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. We have... Valentinos, break hold. Okay, we're starting with break hold, huh? The big guns. BD, 1C, BD, BD. Okay, that was easy. Okay, I have Sonic Shock. Don't have any cameras? A satellite dish. That's about it. Okay. Uh, this guy has a lot of cybernetics. Any cameras? Anything that might help? I leapt off that pillar, and all of a sudden, I'm no longer in stealth. I really don't like when that happens. Alright, here we go, here we go. There is a bunch of people here. Kind of surprised when uh, these two were the only ones I could see, but no, no. There is more. Okay, let's just get ping. And see what's what. Okay, that is a lot of guys. Mark, please. Thank you. I think there's one more there, but no, it just keeps going to the speaker. Alright, so it looks like we have a total of uh, two, four, six, plus this guy who patrols around and starts to get suspicious. Okay. That is seven in this assault in progress. Now, I can take this guy out, that's no problem. But where the heck am I gonna put him? Once again, their cars are right there. 
But sadly, I can't use the trunks. There's not a crate nor a dumpster in sight. Picking up airstrays for crying out loud. Well, I mean, the best I can do is just stash them behind a column or something. I don't want to carry them all this way. Let's go with this track and this thing. I think I've got a secret admirer. Huh. Sure. If you want to look at it that way. I am admiring your bravery for guarding this area all by your lonesome and you don't even have brake hold. That is a surprising amount of self-esteem considering how things have been going for uh, hey. Hey. for the bandits I find I find at uh, locations such as uh, this one. Let's get a breach protocol off you. Yeah. 7A781C. Seems you have decent quick hack protection and that is no bueno. Um, Okay, what? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving. Okay, so after uh, after talking trash to this guy, in the end, I couldn't actually grab him because the prompt did not come up. And already executed one person. Fantastic. All right, buddy. There we go. There is the grab prompt. Now it shows up, thank you. Only like 45 seconds too late, but you know, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Almost cost me my life. What's the harm? Nothing needs to be way more reliable or just on all the time, like all the time. I don't need it to, uh, to basically judge my decision. Oh, uh, let's see, he wants to grab this guy. Uh, is this guy a viable target? You know what, let me worry about that. You just show me the grab prompt. Okay, this is going somewhere downstairs. Whoa. Into water, what is going on here? Okay. Wait, what? Hold on. You mean tell me that those guys I marked up top, they're not the assault? The assault is downhill below? Um, well, who are those six guys upstairs then? That is really weird. But yeah, I guess so. Well, I'm sort of glad my curiosity got better, the better of me on this occasion. Otherwise, I would have cleared those guys upstairs and still been wondering what the heck is going on. Oh, it seems the assault is down here. Has been down here all along. Yeah. Yeah, come check that out. Take a good look. Uh, okay. Well, I... I was gonna say, I wasn't hoping that you're going to stand with your back towards me, but... So I need to neutralize those guys to be able to make the most of it. There we go. Shit, nothing here. This machine is a destruction. Nah, that guy pretends he didn't hear it. What about that? Are you serious? Hello. Got like so many machines going at this time. Burritos and drinks just falling from the sky. Well, almost. Okay, what about now? Ah, uh, there you go, you can hear that. I was hoping that he's not going to notice me behind this machine. Ooh, that was a little close. Uh, little Looks like someone wants trouble. I do not, actually. That's why I'm going through the trouble of distracting you. Okay, here we go.
Pedro Lopez. Hi, Pedro. I'm not seeing any other containers. I could, I could distract this guy, I think. Can I zap him in between these two? Yes, I can. There's only one guy remaining and he's like checking his phone or something. I got conversation. Uh, between uh, Calica and Pedro. Pedro, we got a problem with the client. High as a kite and still going strong. Locked the door and pulled a knife. I hid in the bathroom, but Rita is still out there with him. Okay, sending someone. Just stole him by yourself some time. Okay, so these guys were summoned because there was a problem with the client. I'm guessing he paid for a uh, doll's services or a joy toy services. I think doll. Oh crap! I didn't see that one. I think doll is when they have a doll implant. Like the uh, the people working at Clouds, like Evelyn. Archive conversation between Steve and Chris. Steve, contract signed, we are rich. Uh, sweet chum, let's hit the town. Where are we going? Below deck, Lizzie's, Licks, Boring, had enough of those used up dolls. Let's go to Vista, that's where the real girls are. I'm telling you, a few ads and they'll do anything. Oh, I guess we're going on a visit to Vista. Yeah, you guys got drunk and did something you shouldn't have. Said the Valentino showed up to teach you some manners. In this particular case, I can't I can't even really say that I blame them. But still the job is a job. So I gotta neutralize him. In this particular case, the assault has already been resolved. Um, however, I like to leave these guys uh, standing. Because I think it uh, it reduces my street cred. <laughs> I know it's not really a thing, but that's how I feel about it. Oh yeah, V, v rolled through there, but uh, he wasn't man enough to knock all of them, uh, all of us down. Kind of a pansy. You see that guy? Like, well. Someone sneaking around. Yeah, that is very true. You are very perceptive, miss. And I think that is everybody. I'm not sure if the Valentinos got here in time. Hopefully they did. To stop the drunk uh, clients before before they hurt uh, the uh, the working girls. But uh, who knows? Looks like at least one of the clients is not going to be learning a lesson from this because he is now incapable of learning any lessons. No idea why those guys have gathered, but uh, then are related to the assault. They don't appear to be. I see no reason to mess with them. Whoa! 
okay, Dino wants to, yeah, Dino is the fixer for the city center and wants to sell me, sorry, wants to sell me a vehicle. Not surprising. Uh, there you go. Yet another media killed herself. What? Scream sheets are saying it was work-related stress, but our folks are calling foul play. So, think you can dig something up? Got more deets attached. Well, sure, man. I definitely will, but not right this second. Let's see. Steel CCTV footage, Memorial Park Station. Something's rotten in the city of dreams, you think? A series of suicides, a rash of self-destruction. The contagion mostly targets politicians, corporals, journalists, and police officers. The latest victim was Zola Barnes, a journalist who fell onto the tracks at Memorial Park Station. Her death was officially ruled a suicide, but Barnes' parents said that she went to meet one of her informants at the station and that she never would have taken her own life. I know, I know, that's what all parents say. That doesn't make it wrong. Seems like the jury's still out. Nobody really knows what happened because every last shred of CCTV footage was wiped clean. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Her parents tracked down the witnesses, but they didn't want to talk. And what's more, Militech took a keen interest in the whole thing. Okay, so peace is definitely starting to fall into place. It's our turn to make heads or tails of this. Head to the station, breach the servers, and download any CCTV-related files. I thought you said it was all wiped. You think it was just hidden on the servers? I'll have my code monkeys try to recover the deleted footage. Okay. Oh, and by the way, at the time Zolo was working on a piece about Brad Norwood. A Militech fanboy in the Night City Council. Anyway, looks uh, like that piece is never getting published. BPS transferring your Militech authorization that will get that will get you into the station. Not bad, you know. Not bad. And that mission is right there. Yeah, danger very high. Okay. Okay, that is just not on the menu just yet. It will be soon. Infantry scout Militech. I'm guessing these are the guys that are guarding the station as well. Or just a coincidence that we have yet more Militech guys around here. Bridge protocol. 7A, BD, BD. 7A, 7A. All right, and pink. Okay, we have another one over there. So look like that guy's stationary. This one patrols. This one appears to be stationary. Where does this guy go? Just around. Checks one staircase, then checks the other. And the back guy patrols as well. Now, with this guy staring at the patrol route, there's no way that I can take this guy out without this guy spotting me. And he seems content just sitting there and smoking. So I need to take him out. That was an unexpected boost that I just received, courtesy of the terrain. All right, here we go. Am I hidden here? Is that guy that patrols going to spot me the moment he turns around? Let's find out. Oh, okay. That's a nice ride. Oh, crap. Oh, is that guy done smoking? Also, he does move. Okay, this is... This is a little tough. Can I close the door or something? This place doesn't seem to have a door. I'm right in the middle of all of these guys. And I guess my missed, I missed my opportunity to take them out. Okay, then he walks. Oh, he also starts checking bodies. So he just periodically takes a smoke break, I guess. And this guy is about to start walking this way. He passes right by the booth. Oh, crap, this guy's standing up. Taking pictures. This guy did not spot me. That that is a that is a plus. That is a very big plus. Thanks. No. So 
you're going down right there. I have nowhere to hide these guys. So I gotta be careful. I mean, it's dashing on behind flower pots. That's not gonna fool anybody. I am leaving you alone. Get out of here. This guy, uh, we'll say, had a, a little accident in the kitchen. Oh, crap. Alright, you know what? I get it. You, you've had a few cars pile up, and you're now just trying to get rid of them all at once. I appreciate it. Alright, took care of millet deck. That went a lot smoother than I thought it would. Okay, what happened here? What is the story? An attack at a cafe? What does this laptop say? Whoa! What the? That's not normal. What is going on with this computer? Got another story for you, fat and juicy. You heard about, okay, from somebody to Dino, the guy who messaged me. What is wrong with this laptop, man? Look at this cursor, this thing is huge. Edith, I think, to Dino. Got another story for you, fat and juicy. You heard about that uh, Zoli Barnes who fell under a train, don't think she fell all on her own. Scroll these two Militech suits eating at my joint Thanks for the recording gear, by the way. People really do spill about everything over food. So, these suits spill, uh, spit out all this info about Zoli's suicide like it was nothing. And I got it all. Send some sugar my way and it's yours. Okay, nice. So, uh, Dino is uh, nurturing a uh, network of contacts and includes food vendors. Unfortunately, it seems... Yes, I have some eddies to burn. A caliber, nice. Burn on a caliber. Unfortunately, I'm guessing this is the, this is the street vendor that used to work here. And that was preparing a message to Dino. Maybe already sent a message. And those Militex suits, well, they got wise that somebody might have recorded them and sent in the Militech guys to to mop up. Is this a is this a hollow view? Can I use it to recreate what happened? Remember to take only certified Crafting spec banners here. Elimination, let's see. We have Edith Kutaga, that's the name I couldn't read, in custody, awaiting further orders. Do you confirm she was wearing a listening device? Confirmed. Understood. Eliminate Edith Kutaga for terrorist activity motivated by anti-corporate and anti-capitalist ideologies. Copy that. So corporations basically have uh, free reign to do with to do with civilians as they please. Anybody can be accused of anti-corporate agendas, and uh, and apparently that's enough to warrant a death sentence. What a wonderful future. Okay, assault in progress. Right there. So Dino, at first I was praising him for being clever enough to outfit street vendors with uh, scrolling equipment. But now I'm thinking that he did not do right by his people. In particular this uh, Edith person who risked a lot, granted for a payday, but still basically doing what Dino hired, uh, hired him to do. And Dino was not there to uh, to watch to watch their back. That is unfortunate. And uh, does not bode well for my working relationship with Dino. 
Makes him sound unreliable. Soldier can't tell. Okay. It's like the second time I've run into these guys. The first time they were there in force and had like a full complement of robots backing them up. 1C55. What did you guys record? Also, you know what's a little suspicious? How, um, okay, let's go with this one. I need something closer so I can get this guy in this crate. How a street vendor was scrolling a BD Shit. and what they were refer, oh crap, what they were referring to as a listening device and got caught but a person scrolling a BD of Yorinobu's uh, penthouse at uh, Tenpeki Plaza, Evelyn, of course, is who I mean, was not caught at all. How does that happen? How does a lowly street vendor in, an, in a public area get found out, but Evelyn sneaking into, well, not, not really sneaking, more like walking into a... Uh, a very secure location that's packed with uh, with latest generation uh, security systems and whatnot you can just grow a brain dance like it's nothing. Now, true, Yorinobu, she, she did say that Yorinobu was very wary of the security his the security detail his father had attached to him. But come on, I can't believe the guy is that stupid and oblivious. oblivious. I mean, he keeps. What's the name of the guy? Adam Smasher around? And he's 96% uh, cybernetically augmented. I, I'm sure he has some scanners in there somewhere. 55781C. Five, it's probably not all for combat. Or I very much hope it's not all for combat because I have a bad feeling that I'm going to have to be facing off against that guy at some point in the future. Right, let's go with another distraction. Yeah. I know. Hopefully that your friend won't be, won't be walking. On my way to investigate. Walking back this time. All right, let's go, buddy. Quickly, 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 quickly. There you go. Uh, and right on cue. Go ahead and grab this guy as well. No, nothing. What about this one? Ah, this one you saw. No combat sim. Everybody's working combat sims. What do those things even do? Not really clear. I mean, I'm guessing by the name they provide some kind of a bonus when you're in combat. But who knows? Okay, Sergeant something as uh, some number and Major Adam Dodge. First Sergeant mapped him. Object emitting registered waveform signature detected near our position. Requesting aerial survey and support to determine object's precise location. Request denied. No available units. Conduct ground-based scans. Copy objective in progress. So they were looking for some piece of technology that was emitting a very specific waveform signature. And it looks like they caught up with the person that had it. Only a three-person team? I mean, I know these guys are badass and whatnot, but usually when I go to these assaults, it's at least five people. Sometimes more. Usually not less. All right, what do we have here? Legendary upgrade components. Okay. That's what I expected to find. Obviously, I was too late to help this guy. So, what happened, buddy? Smart shotgun. Was that the thing they were looking for? Annihilation. Oh. Uh, Jesper and Dino again. Dino, I screwed up bad. Help. Go here. Link no longer exists. You're going to send someone for me? 
Hey, don't push your luck. Already sent you my hideout out of the goodness of my heart. Believe I offered you better security pre-mission and you declined. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So yet another person who was doing business with Dino and ended up dead. Although in this case, based on a conversation, I'm guessing it's not really Dino's fault. He was trying to help the guy. I guess this guy was doing a mission for him. And Dino did offer him uh, additional security pre-mission. I'm guessing at an additional cost. And therefore the guy was like, ah, no, I don't need it. Until he really needed it, and by then it was too late, of course. Of course it was. That way, but I have to go around. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Right, sorry, guys. Just coming through. Don't freak out. Also, don't shoot at me. Please. I said don't freak out. Stop freaking out. I said stop freaking out. I'm really concerned these guys just basically don't throw themselves underneath the motorcycle as I'm passing by. Hey man, I'm trying. Do we have, uh, do we have hostages? Alright, let's see what's going on. Valentinos, okay. Is it okay if I look from over here? Season thug break hold. Okay, that complicates things. One C B D one C one C B D one C. Nope, cannot mark that one. It won't let me. Let me see. Is there anybody stuttering? Nope. I want to mark the people, not the objects. Come on. No, it's not letting me. All right, looks like there is four up there and a fifth one downstairs. Just they've already killed a few people. This is rough. Jose Gonzalez Valentinos. I think they almost detected me. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna need reboot optics to make this this stuff work. I'm gone. <laughs> right, well, nobody got shot, so that that is good. That is very good. Then again, I shouldn't celebrate yet because it looks like they killed a whole bunch of people before I actually got here. That's, that's at least four victims, maybe more upstairs. Can I take this guy out? I mean, yes, I can, but can I store them anywhere? Oh yeah. Absolutely. That's a nice bike. What is it? Apollo. Don't see too many of those. Okay, you guys seem to be doing a little bit better. No longer no longer hostages. This guy has break hold. Okay, that's gonna be a little rough. However, 
I think I can make it work. Now, first things first, this lady is primed to go and check out that floodlight. 7A, 1C, 7A. 7A, 1, okay. Right there, and distract. Perfect. Well, a little, actually a little too close for comfort. Now, this guy needs to not be looking directly at me. Yes, you do. You absolutely do. Okay. And just mark the other one. Excellent. I find anyone there? He's getting a new metal rib. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but uh, I'm guessing it's bad. It's bad for my health. So reboot her optics. Grab this guy and drop him. Okay. And she shouldn't be able to see me there. I think it'd be easier to drop him over here. Yeah. Yeah, that pillar just did me a solid. that it won't be needing this gun in the next few hours. Good thing you showed up. Uh, For a second, I thought, you know, it's, it's not, it? It, it, it's not over yet, buddy. It's not over yet. See this, see this lady right here? I'm pretty sure she still means you harm. Okay. Now you are free to get out of here. Okay, another victim. That makes five. And with this guy, six. Puncture resistant western fringe vest. Don't really do you any favors, get it. Officer. Actually, it's not a police officer. Maria and uh, Padre. Padre? Padre, it's urgent. Padre. What is it, my daughter? Not good. Ladrillo knows I talked. He put tail on me and I can't shake them. The alarm went off in the house. They're trying to take me down. I need help fast. I can't call command or the guys will know I've been working two fronts. I guess, I guess she's a police officer. I understand. I'm on it. Try to hide somewhere and let me know where to send my people. Okay, but please hurry. You know what they do to cops. Calm, child. I wouldn't leave you in need. God be with you. Maria, Maria, are you there? No, I'm guessing this, this was Maria. Let me see something here. Uh, no, not message. Um, not messages. The, no, not the journal. What the heck? Shards. There we go. Had a, sl a slight um, <clears throat> problem with remembering which menu I needed. Archive conversation. I'm looking for a converse, a particular conversation between, I think her name was Zoe. She was one of the bosses of, um, well, I mean, she still is. I shouldn't, I shouldn't speak in the past tense considering that I only knocked her out temporarily. They were talking about um, one of the Valentinos who had killed a police officer. And I want to see if his name was Jose Gonzalez, because that was the name of one of the Valentinos that I just neutralized here. I'm not even sure that I'm in the right place. Archive conversation. I kind of wish there was a search function. I can just type a name. And uh, and this thing would get filtered because I mean there's way too many freaking entries. Look at this. I'm not even sure whether all the ones that are showing up as new, i.e., unread, are in fact unread or if it's just bugging out a little bit. I mean, yeah, some of those I definitely have not read, but others I'm not so sure. Kaiser Herzog, 
Italo Shobo, Maria Costa, Elimination, Kelica and Pedro Ines, and Roger Gloria, no. Gabriel, it was it should be before this one. Yeah. Irene, I remember these. I remember a lot of these. Felix and Quincy. Orders, drones, go to arms, extraction, no. Oh, there we go. Zoe, Zoe Alonso. It was just signed as got a problem. So, searching by her name wouldn't have yielded any results. But yeah, chronologically. Okay, Jose Lewis. Okay, so not the guy that, uh, that I saw here. Oh, this was a while ago, so obviously I did not remember the name. Okay, another assault in progress right there. Yeah, to get to this one, I pretty much have to pass by this one, so that one will be first. Let's just take this Apollo and see how it rides. Also, I'll never understand why all the radios are always on. Does nobody drive uh, with the radio off? Gotta tell you, this bike is not as responsive as mine. Maybe I'm just more used to... Oh, okay. I'm just more used to mine, but yeah. Feels like the acceleration is uh, definitely not as responsive. He's a psycho. I I can see why you think that, sir. I do not resent you for for thinking so. Seeing a uh, mostly naked man on a motorcycle, would I can see how that would, that would create the wrong impression. Whoa, 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 whoa! I almost justify that guy's impression of me just now. Yeah, I'm not liking this Apollo as much. My bike was, well, is a lot better. Not funny. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just, that's the best parking job I was able to do. Sorry. Oh, that sounds like drones. That, ah, excuse me. That sounds like drones. And drones means, actually, Let's try and maybe keep reboot optics on them so they can't um, hold in my location. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, sorry. How are all these pedestrians so calm and collected? Wyvern drone. Short circuit insufficient RAM available. Ha! Huh. Breach protocol blocked. Wonderful. Wonderful. And, and there's another one too. Okay, so we are in that situation in which this short circuit requiring four RAM is too much. Is there a, uh, no, of course not, a drop point nearby? Why can I not equip, hold on, go to backpack. Is it available there maybe? Uh, I don't even have a, I don't have access to those at all. So I cannot see the quick hacks that I have at all. The only place I can view them is under cyberware. Makes sense. I have a crappy version. This is the rare version of short circuit. I have the uncommon one that is cheaper. And why do I not have access to it? This, this is something that definitely needs to be fixed. Let me access the lower tier versions of my of my quick hacks, please. I know it's hard to believe, but sometimes they are exactly the right option. It probably doesn't come up too often during normal play, but it seems like an unnecessary restriction in my book. And now I'm gonna have to save and try to punch this thing. Mind you, they explode on death. Is that gonna kill me? Probably. Whoa. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so those things have a lot of health. A lot of health. And they also do a lot of damage. Oh crap, the other one started firing. Oh, that makes sense. And that must kill me. Yeah. Alright, so that's not gonna work. Fighting them is not really an option without the quick hack. That's, that's pretty much how I've been handling all things mechanical up until now. Still doesn't work on them, even though I think it should. I think there should be some special takedowns. You know, like maybe use my unparalleled technical knowledge to pull out just the right cable or something on this thing and make it not work. But sadly, at least for now, it is not an option. Oh, really? The ashtray bugged out? Case and Dino again. Yeah, I heard about Barnes. Yeah, so it's about her. So someone helped her under that train? Uh, exactly. I mean, I know it. You just gotta get the proof. Well, how about a little hack job? Which station? Memorial Park. Best thing would be some CCTV footage. So I'm not the first person that he hired to get this. I'd buy that. Yeah, of course. I'll see. Just be careful. Militech wants to shut this whole thing down quick. Maybe already got your eyes up in, in the end card subnet. Nah, not like them. Not on external systems. Probably just wipe the files. Simple data recovery. Those smartass suits sometimes forget the simplest tricks. Whatever you say, you know the deal. You work your magic, I just stand back and admire. In this case, maybe... Well, I don't know if they had their eyes up because the person didn't get fried. But those drones were able to triangulate their position and uh, take them out. So, Dino has been working very hard to get this uh, CCTV footage. It seems at least two people have already died trying to do it. Oh, nice. A little bit of air on that. And, and they slammed right into a shipping container. Oh boy. Assaulting an elevated position. Are you kidding? Rapid. Kang Tao again. 7A55BD. 7A55BD. Guys. Okay. I see. Well, that is a lot of guys. These guys pop in instantly. It doesn't seem, it doesn't appear that that is the case. Uh, I'm not sure how he didn't hear that. However, I'm not going to complain. Right there. 35 experience just for this one guy. That is crazy. Let's see what awaits upstairs. Oh, that's nice. Being able to fit under that uh, pipe or whatever that is. Okay, we have two guys there. Ooh, a third guy just appeared out of nowhere. Crap. 
unfortunately for me, I don't have the third guy marked. And I can't blind these guys. Their defense is way too good for that. So I have no chance but to, to rely... I mean, no choice rather, no, no chance. Yes, I have no chance, no a chance of blinding them. And I have no choice but to rely on the environment for distractions and moving them out of position. That guy did not hear that? Come on. I think that was something. Yes, that, that definitely was something. <gasps> Situations under control. Are you sure? Really, that you, you did not even hear. Come on, man. Why did you not hear the uh, that thing? Whatever that is, air conditioning malfunction. The fuck was that? That was a floodlight. Apparently, the only thing that works. Close. Area secure. Uh, first Sergeant and Major. First Sergeant, something reporting, requesting immediate security of crash site. What crashed here? Uh, oh, uh, Octant. That's those uh, big drones. Copy. The one, uh, like the model that shot uh, Jackie and I. Shot, well, shot Jackie and shot at me as we were making our escape from Konpeki Plaza. Bring techie support. Follow all security protocols. That seems like a weird thing to remind them. Yeah, of course, follow all security protocols. You're not just going to follow some of them. This is a terrorist attack, alert level Bravo, first sergeant, yes sir. All right. And floodlight destruction number three. No, oh, it did not work. Uh, great. So of course when I needed it the most, it decided not to work anymore. That's fine. a lot of little drones. I'm not seeing the uh, Octant. Tanto worth 8. Flight Info Defender worth 35. No thanks. Log Octant. That's not an Octant. Octants are these gigantic drones. I don't know what this thing is called, but it's not an Octant for sure. Alright, start. Plaza 21 feet, 23 feet, 23 feet. Warning, breaching. 18 feet, auto response, refresh, 10 feet, distract signals, 3 feet, hostile takeoff, following net runner attack, sending last known location. This is Jesper, suck ass, get your lovely drones. What now? Got your lovely drones. Down for some tag, don't forget to get my last cord sending in just in case. So this guy was basically playing a game with them. That is, uh, that is very brave. The guy is certainly not lacking for, uh, for confidence in his abilities ability to stay ahead of uh, of these guys and he'd have to, to play this game with them because I'm fairly certain that if they were to find him he'd be he'd be shot he'd be shot on the spot no doubt of, of that at all alrighty so making some decent progress in city center um, and my plan is next episode to continue doing just that. So there's more assaults and reported crimes and whatnot in progress. Uh, but that'll be next time. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.